Here's an iPad mini, sixth generation. I'm gonna show you several ways how you can take a screenshot, okay? So first way is pressing the power button and the volume down. Just press the same time and let go. Boom, screen's got it. Also, power button and volume up as well, it works. Press both buttons really quickly and just let go just like that. Now, every time you take a screenshot, it'll get saved automatically into your Photos app right here. So just tap on that. And then go ahead and tap up here to this pane here pops up. Now under media types, you should have a new folder called screenshots. So tap on screenshots and all your screenshots will be in here. Another way to take a screenshot is you can ask Siri if you have it set up. For instance, hey Siri, take a screenshot. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. That was my other phone. Let's do it again. Hey Siri, take a screenshot. Uh -huh. Or you can press and hold the power button and activate Siri, press and hold. Take a screenshot. Now, another way that we can take a screenshot, if we go directly into settings, and then from here, on the left pane here, go down to where it says accessibility, tap on accessibility right here, and then we wanna to go to over here where it says physical motor, tap on touch, and then we can go ahead and and now tap on up here where it says assistive touch. Go ahead and tap on that. Now we can go ahead and do a, um, a, double, a double tap or a long press. So for instance, first thing is go ahead and turn on the assistive touch. So we're gonna turn that on and you get this little floaty icon here. So if we put double tap here, if we go ahead and tap, it says none right now. If we go ahead and tap on that, we can choose screenshot. So let's look for a screenshot, it's in alphabetical order. So there's screenshot there. And now again, you can see that little floaty thing right there. It's gonna, doesn't matter. Now if we double tap it, it's gonna take a screenshot, okay? And then it's gonna go ahead and reappear. And then if we go back to settings here, you also have the other option. If you go back, you can also make long press. You can make that a screenshot as well. So we tap on screenshot right there. Now I have it on both double tap and long press, so so now for a screenshot, I can long press it, basically just press and hold and just wait. Okay, and also I still have it on double tap as well. So pretty simple. Good luck, guys.